Hey guys, and welcome back to another Kedrick's Ruby review reaction type deal. Now, I know this is a couple days late. I didn't know it came out early. Uh, it's Saturday where I am, so. Woohoo, I didn't know, so I'm an idiot. Okay, so. Uh, let's get into the episode. I've left a link to the episode in the description below. As always, I'm going to push play in about five seconds. Or I'm just going to count down from three. Uh, I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it was. Just, it was good for me. Uh, for those of you who are waiting for my Supergirl review, I have not seen the episode yet. It didn't record on uh, Monday night. I was out with a couple of guys uh, with a friend, so uh, I had Gotham recorded, didn't have Supergirl recorded. So as soon as I get down to watching that, which I'll find some way, I'll post a review ASAP. Until then, three, two, one, play. <laughs> Santa. Present your loved ones with the extraordinary gifts of the Rooster Teeth store, and may you have the happiest of holidays. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Didn't see that one coming. And here's the opening. The visuals always just impressed me. The, uh, out of all the songs, I still think the first one is the best in my opinion. So yeah, battles that need to happen this season. We need to get Cinder and all her stuff, you know, just taken care of. And I want to figure out the stuff with, you know, Yang's mother. Uh, whatever her name was. I, I can't even remember if they said it. Alright, let's get into the episode. That's right, it's Cinder's team versus, uh... Wow, I wonder who's going to win. Wow, four different states. Okay. Mountain, forest. Uh, hey. Love the outfit, kid. I'll try not to get blood on it. Uh, I can't promise you'll leave without a scratch. I won't be the one bleeding. Oh, I like her. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin! Oh, we're going for a stealth move. Oh no. 
Buzz got to hurt. Uh-oh, broke the glasses. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh. And with an amazing upset, Emerald and Mercury are victorious. Okay. Why are they booing them? They won. True, they're the bad guys, but even You're so. Leaving? Yes. I was merely needed to oversee the transport of additional units to Vale. Our last shipment was lost to an ambush. I believe you had a run in with its cargo, actually. It's fortunate those paladins were still in the prototype stage, otherwise your team may not have fared so well. Weiss, you've done well out here on your own. You should be proud. I'll be honest, it was quite amusing seeing Father's face the day you left for Beacon. I can't wait to show him what I've learned. Oh? Then what do you think you've learned? What do you mean? I'm getting better and better with my glyphs. I've even started time dilation. And what of your summoning? I... You know I can't. Don't be ridiculous. Every Shni has the ability to summon. We have for generations. I've tried. It's just, it's the one thing I'm having trouble with. We Shnees are unique. Unlike many, our semblance is hereditary. But that doesn't mean that it will come easily. Your semblance is like a muscle. The more you practice with it, the stronger it will become. But if you only focus on one aspect of it, if you fail to test the limits of what you think is possible, Whoa. She can do that? Never truly grow. It looks like a Don't never be the old man! You're nothing but talk, kid. You can do it, Ruby! Soy Ninja wins! Total annihilation! And by the way, don't ever call me old. My turn. Your challenger approaches. Now, where was I? You were telling us about your last mission! Right, you're right. I come across a small village in the swamps west of Mistral. Right off the bat, I knew something wasn't right. What were you doing there? I needed information. Tired from battling Grimm along the way, I decided to start my search at the town's inn. The place was crawling with lowlifes and thugs. Even a few huntsmen that I could only assume had been hired by less than reputable people for less than respectable jobs. And that's when it happened. What happened? I was defeated. By the mere sight of the innkeeper's skirt length. <laughs> you heard the worst! <laughs> Best two out of three. So, Uncle Crow, did you get in trouble with Oskin? Nah, me and Oz go way back. We're cool. <laughs> Cool for an old guy. Not funny. Hey, so what are you doing here anyway? I thought Dad said you'd be away on a mission for like, ever. Well, a professional huntsman like myself is expected to get results as soon as possible. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> We're pretty much pros too. Oh, really? Yeah, read the news sometime. We totally say bail while you were gone. Funny. Because I heard Vale suffered a grim attack after you almost managed to stop a train. Uh... But they don't give out medals for almost. They do, and they're called silver! Well, we helped take down Roman Torchwick. 
He's locked up in Ironwood ship and crimes been down ever since. That's basically a bounty mission. Sure, you may be acting like huntresses, but you're not thinking like one. You really think four girls and their friends could end all crime in a kingdom? I mean, I did until you said that. Violence hasn't dropped since Roman got nabbed. It stopped. Completely. No White Fang activity anywhere around the city. You cut off the head of a King Taijitu, but now the second head's calling the shots. That's what Ironwood can't get through that thick metal head of his. You... know the General? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. <sighs> team Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. But I'll save those for when you're older. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm too old to be hanging out with a bunch of kids. You're gonna cramp my style. Look, just remember that you've still got a long way to go. And don't think for a second that graduating means you're done. Every day out there is worth a week in this place. You two, you're gonna go far. But only if you keep learning. If you never stop moving forward. Okay, so... Excellent four. Now think to your fallen foes. The ones that forced you to push yourself past who you were and become who you are now. Think of them and watch as they come to your side. I can't. Stop doubting yourself. I'm trying. If this is what you call trying, then you have no hope of winning the tournament, let alone succeeding as a huntress. Why don't you just move back home? I'm sure Father will give you a nice job as a receptionist. I don't need his charity. But you do need his money, don't you? What? How did you know about that? Lucky guess. I may have been in a similar situation when I joined the military. So what have you done this time? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not sure. I went to pay for lunch the other day, but my card didn't work. How embarrassing. Perhaps so you'd stop avoiding him and call home. Emotions can grant you strength, but you must never let them overpower you. It sounds to me like you have two choices in front of you. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. Or you could continue to explore Remnant. Discovering more about the world and, honestly, more about yourself. Okay, if so Winter's not as bad as I thought she was. It's time for me to go. <clears throat> it was really good to see you, Winter. Until next time, sister. So believe in fairy story and the ghost that they can't see. I know that I could do so much if I could just believe in me. Healer, healer, I'll tell you something. I think I might change it all. Okay. Okay, so really good episode this week. Uh, the battle at the very beginning of the episode was extremely awesome. Uh, getting to show off a little bit of the skills between Mercury and Emerald. We never really saw a full-length scale as to what they could do. We knew that Mercury kicked and that uh, Emerald had those sort of uh, those sickle guns. Um, kind of interesting stuff, but... Uh, I don't know. I think that the whole booing at the end of the fight was kind of a little... Yes, we get it. They're the bad guys, but the, the people in the crowd don't know that. Uh, 
But it, the battle was... It looked really fast-paced. It looked really fun. That part was Santa at the beginning of this video. That was hilarious. Uh, now I want to watch Rooster Teeth's uh, Red vs. Blue like right now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yes, I noticed that the video is cut up from time to time. I hope it came out okay. Uh, I'm doing as much as I can to edit it. Uh, by the time you guys are already watching this, it's fully edited. Um... Altogether, I think the stuff with Crow and Winter was kind of interesting. When I guess Yang didn't realize that her mother was her mother at the end of season two. It's like, hello, she looks exactly like you. And then when Crow shows her a picture, she's like, wait, I know that woman. It's like, really? Really? First off, we need to figure out what exactly Yang and her mother were talking about at the end of season two. So I, everyone wants to know at this point, what were they talking about? Uh, something else we need to go over is just, uh, I think Crow is letting out a little too much information to Ruby and Yang, but, you know, one way or another, they're going to find out anyway. Of course, we got the stuff with Winter saying that, you know, uh, Weiss, <laughs> the reason why she can't pay for food anymore is because her dad's cut her off, and it's the exact same thing that happened to Winter a while back when she joined the military. I find it really, really interesting that all this is happening with Weiss now. We haven't had much happen on Weiss's side. We've had Ruby, Yang, and Blake. We've had their sides of the story. We're just now getting into Weiss's stuff, and it's actually more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, and altogether, I think it's just playing out really well. This episode was really great. I want to give this one a 9.3 out of 10. Really great episode. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys saw of the episode in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook. That is in the description below. As always, be sure to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. Share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. I've been Kedricks, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Peace, and I'll check you guys later.